it's Molly from Still Being Molly, and it is February, which means it's time for a January favorites video where I just kind of go over some of my favorite beauty things from January 2014. We're just doing a little reminiscing, that's all. Anyway, I'm going to try and keep this short, so I'm going to quit all my rambling at the beginning and get started. The first two items are nail items, and I just did a video on the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure nail polishes, and so one of those nail polishes made it into my January favorites, and then another nail polish completely unrelated to the Complete Salon Manicure nail polishes, but also from Sally Hansen, made it into my January favorites. So these are the two nail polishes. I and ironically or coincidentally or something, I do not have nail polish on my fingers right now. It's just because I just took it off and was filing and all that stuff. I'm gonna paint my nails later tonight. So it's fine. Anyway, so this is the Sally Hansen Pat It on the Black. I talked about in this video in the previous video that I loved this color so much. It's just just a really, really pretty deep purple. And then this is also, um, this is going to be a go-to favorite throughout the whole year because it can really be worn all year round. And it's antique bronze. It's like a really pretty rosy gold color. For eyes, I finally got the Naked 3 palette. I was debating on whether or not to get it, and I got a gift card to Sephora, and I said, you know what, I'm just going to use my gift card, and I'm going to get me the Naked 3 palette. And so far, I'm really loving it. Some of the colors aren't as pigmented as I had originally hoped they would be, but I'm just kind of in the beginning stages of playing around with it. But they really are just really pretty neutral, rosy tone colors. And I have, you know, really fair skin tone to begin with um, but I have pink undertones to my skin so the rosy tones actually go really well with my skin tones and so so far I really do love this also in the realm of eyes I have become obsessed with eyeshadow sticks or pencils or whatever crayons whatever you want to call them um, I have gotten a couple of samples and then I bought a couple and they just make awesome eyeshadow bases and make your eyeshadows really, 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 uh, the pigment really, really stand out. So I've got, there. I'm just going to put the category of eyeshadow crayons in my favorites, but I've got this one, which is a, uh, it's in Little Miss Thing. It's like a light goldy color from e.l.f. Jumbo Eye Pencil. This was a dollar. Um, this one is a Hello Kitty one. It is in a light purple, um, <coughs> excuse me, this is a light purpley color, uh, Sweet Lavender, um, by Hello Kitty. I got this one in the sale bin at Sephora for $5, and this one actually goes really well as a good base for the Naked 3 palette. Um, I got this Smooth Shadow by Elizabeth Mott in Pearl. This is like a very, very light gold, almost like a, just a shimmery beige color. I got this in my January Ipsy Glam Bag. Um, this is my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk, and it's just a white sheer, or like a, just a plain white color, and this is great under really any um, eyeshadows that you just really want the color to pop. And then this Rimmel London Scandal Eyes eyeshadow crayon in... What color is it? Bulletproof Beige! And it is also a goldy color. I have like three gold colors here. But different shadow shade of color gold and it is just really 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 pretty. I actually have this on under my eyeshadow right now and it just makes your eyeshadows pop and I love it. The next is a foundation primer. Um, I got a sample of the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer. I got a sample. I mean, it's actually the full size of the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer. I did a video back in November on the Rimmel London Stay Matte Foundation and I won a contest um, and I got like a bunch of samples of Rimmel London products. So I was really excited for um, winning a contest because I never win anything. Um, but anyway, so I got the Stay Matte Primer and I've been using it under my foundation and even just under like a BB cream in January and it really helps your foundation and your uh, you know your creams just go on a whole lot smoother and I have been finding that my face isn't getting like really shiny by the end of the day um, so I am a big fan of this. 
And the next is a blush. This is a blush by Ro Laura Mercier in Rose Petal, and it is a very light uh, peachy uh, pink color, sort of. Um, but this is actually the color of blush that I wore when I got married. And I bought it after my wedding, um, and I have repurchased it a couple times, and it's just the perfect soft pinky peach blush for every day. Excuse me, hiccups. Oh, why do I always get the hiccups when I film? It's just the perfect soft peachy pink blush shade and I am just, I just love it and I wear it all the time and it's just, it's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. And no favorites video in my world would be complete without a mascara. So I, you know, I've talked about my obsession with mascara and I try out all the mascaras because I want to know all the mascaras. And there are very few mascaras that I don't like, but I certainly have clubhouse favorites. Um, I was using the Rimmel London Scandalize mascara um, previously and I'm still using that one, but I got in that same from the contest that I won and I got all the Rimmel London uh, makeup samples. I got this one as well, which is the Scandal Eyes Retro Glam, um, and it's got this really kind of funky, funky, interesting brush, but it I really like the um, end of it because you can get into the corners of your eyes a lot easier, and the bottom lash is really easy, and this is just in 001 or black, um, and so, so far I really like it. I mean, it's not, I would say, my favorite mascara of all time, and throw away all the other mascaras because this is the end all be all of mascaras. I'm not saying that, but I do really like it. And last but not least, a fragrance. So back in September, I had gotten this sample of a fragrance from Bath and Body Works um, in Amber Blush. It was like one of those promos that they had that if you ordered, you got a free fragrance sample. And so I got this sample and then I forgot about it. I forgot I even had it and discovered it back in the early part of this month. And it smells so good. It smells so good. It is Amber Blush Eau de Toilette from Bath and Body Works. And I think the sample itself costs like $7.50. I don't know. I got it for free. Um, like I said, with like a purchase of lotion, something like that. But I am a big, big fan of this here Eau de Toilette. It just, it's definitely a more musky tone-ish scent. I don't really know. I don't really know how to describe scents. I'm sorry. YouTube has not installed that scratch and sniff feature that I have been asking for so that you guys can smell what I'm smelling. But anyway, so yeah, so I really love this scent. It's just a very, it's definitely a more wintry scent. I would not probably wear this in the spring, but it's winter right now. So yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do. So anyway, that is my roundup of January favorites for right now, and that's about it. I'm rambling. So I will, or I would love to know actually in the comments below what products you were loving in January. Anything I should try out in the month of February, let me know. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.